In our previous lesson, we looked at the stave for the first time and how where the notes are tells us what pitch to play. In this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at the way these different notes appear. Their different shapes and styles actually tell us how long we should play the note. Before we start though, we need to talk about pulse. Pulse is the beat that goes along with the music that we hear. Have you ever noticed that when you listen to music, you can tap your feet, nod your head or clap along? You're actually tapping, nodding and clapping the pulse. Sometimes the pulse can be fast, sometimes slow or sometimes in the middle. Let's take a look at our first note. This is called a crotchet and it lasts for one beat. This means for every beat of our pulse, we play this note. Next, we have quavers. These can be written in a few different ways. When we have one quaver on its own, it looks like this. It looks quite similar to a crotchet, doesn't it? But can you spot the difference? Notice how the tail of the note is slightly longer and curves around. When we put two quavers next to each other, however, we draw them like this, connected together. Now a quaver lasts for half a beat which means we hear it twice for each beat of our pulse. So you could say that two quavers equals one crotchet. So how do we remember what they sound like? Well, we could give each note a word. Let's give a crotchet the word chips and our two quavers the word burger. So if you put a bunch of crotchets and quavers together, what would it sound like? If you see a bunch of notes like this, simply use the words to get the rhythm. For example, chips, chips, burger, chips. Chips, burger, burger, chips. Using words makes it very easy to work out how long you should play the note for. Let's show you another note. This note is called a minim. A minim lasts for two beats, meaning that we hold it on for two beats of our pulse. Again, it looks quite similar to a crotchet, doesn't it? To tell the difference, look at the note head. On a crotchet, the note head is completely filled in, whereas on the minim, there's a hole in it. Let's add a word for a minim. T. So when we add this to our other notes, this is what it sounds like. Make sense? Well, let's add another note into the mix. This time we have a semi brief and a semi brief lasts for four beats. And as you can see, a semi brief looks a bit like a minim, but notice this note doesn't have a tail whatsoever. So let's think of a word that can go with this note. Cheese. So again, let's add our new note in with the others. Fantastic, so let's take a look at one more note. This note is called a semiquaver. A semiquaver lasts for a quarter of a beat. It's half as long as a quaver. So this means that four semiquavers equals one crotchet. Now, looking at the note, you'll notice it looks very similar to a quaver. The difference is that there are two curly tails at the end of the note instead of one. Just like a quaver, we can link them together as well. But notice how we have two lines that connect the notes. So once more, we need a word or words to go with this rhythm. Chicken tikka. So for the final time, let's add semiquavers to the other notes and compare its sound.
So that is what these different notes mean. Let's have a quick recap before we finish. A semi-brief lasts for four beats and the word we're using is cheese. A minim lasts for two beats and the word we're using is tea. A crotchet lasts for one beat and the word we're using is chips. A quaver lasts for half a beat and the word we're using is burger. A semi-quaver lasts for a quarter of a beat and the words we're using are chicken tikka. That's the end of this lesson on note values. Please click the link below to complete the quiz and test your knowledge.